Yo, what up guys, Magic IQ here, and today I'm bringing you guys my A-Class Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9 build. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to uh, update my builds and give you guys some of the ones I've been using on stream, and this is one of those beasts, man. I built this car literally in every class so far, so I'll link those down below in the description as well as at the end of the video you guys can watch to see a couple of those videos every single one of the build videos for the evo 9 in rumble will be linked in the description this thing is just an absolute beast i love this car in every single class it drives the same and performs very highly in each of the classes so i highly recommend you guys take a look at this car but without further ado let's get into the a class setup for this thing now we are running a 20 percent grip on it even though it is a drift build but don't be thrown off by it. It is using the infamous 2.2 liter inline four that is used both in this car and in the RSR. Um, it is an absolutely amazing motor. It just puts in absolutely you know, astronomical amounts of work. This thing is a beast. It's pumping out 585 horsepower and 817 foot pounds of torque in A class, which is crazy. It's got a 10.7 quarter mile a 0 to 60 of 2.8 seconds and a top speed of 128 which you will never hit on the a-class race which is the boom docks for the parts on this motor we got an elite induction a pro ecu an elite fuel system a super exhaust an elite roots supercharger with an elite bottle of nitrous elite off-road suspension elite off-road tires elite clutch a five-speed gearbox, a differential, which is a sport differential, and nitrous drift and grip auxiliaries. We also left the brake stock, but you can upgrade this all the way to platinum. It really doesn't make a difference, but if you want to stop even harder, but I found with brake tap, which is what we use for our handling mechanism for drifting, which is brake tap, um, it's a lot easier to actually initiate the drift when you have less brake pressure, aka the weakest brakes possible, because you lose less speed. Um, the handling is 20% grip, as mentioned earlier, staying sensitivity right in the middle, and the downforce is right in the middle as well. Trash control is off, gas tap or brake tap is our drift entry for now, but you can use just brake tap, which I recommend. Sometimes I like gas tap just because in the dirt, it, it doesn't really want to initiate as hard sometimes with brake tap. So sometimes I just use both to make sure the car whips around. Um, it's not as touchy as graph, uh, gravel and um, on road. So I just kind of use them both at the same time sometimes because so, I'm usually always in a drift or boosting out of one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this build. This car is very, very consistent. I highly suggest you give it a try. And this has been another rumble build. I will start building outside of rumble now in other classes like A and A plus, and I will do the grind to unlock the rx7 because a lot of you guys have been asking for it so i'm gonna go ahead and knock that out 30 b class races in a mazda man that's gonna be harsh but i'll get it done love you guys from magic iq you guys have been supporting me amazingly sorry for the missed couple of days uh, my pc's been a little weird on starting up and running the whole time i don't know i've been having a couple issues but i have resolved those um recently just had to uninstall and reinstall a lot of things so i appreciate you guys for being mindful of that we have been going live though over on uh, twitch um for like some modern warfare ranked play late nights and also some just pub stomping for fun man so make sure you guys tune in over there because we are live if not every day most of the time so i appreciate you guys from magic iq and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace